Mr. Neal's closing remarks ended emphatically, stating that he was not a child molester and that there was no evidence to prove it. We now return to our scheduled programming of the musical adaptation of J.R. Tolkien's The Silmarillion. No, you can't eat those shiny eggs. They are really powerful relics. Get away from me with that web. Don't you wrap me up, I said. The deal was made long ago. You'll give the hair or heads will roll. Now I have you in my web. My long fangs will strike you dead. Now no options left to me. I'll call my Balrogs forth to me. <laughs>
white. Yo, why is the colour I use to my colouring books when I'm out of crayons? Why is the colour a Tipex? Why is the colour my toilet used to be? Why is the colour I wish my Super Nintendo still was? Why is what a bride wears? Why is what John Lennon wanted I'll be road cover? Why it reminds me of when I used to believe in angels? Why is the colour of a common item in World of Warcraft? Why is the colour of paper and I'll fight anyone who disagrees? Why is the colour of chalk that brings life to the blackboard? Why is the colour of milk? Why is the colour I see when I think of faith? Why is the colour of a good coffee? Yo, why is the colour of snow? When did God abandon us? Why is the colour you don't want to see when you're draining fluid from an ancient block? White reminds me of hospitals. White technically isn't even a colour, it's the absence of colour. Why is the colour semen? Why is the colour of blue tack? So many of the world's greatest heroes are white, like Jesus and Michael Jackson. Why is a memory? Listen, there's so many people in the world today spreading the hate, spreading the violence, telling you that you're not worth nothing. The world could be a better place if we all get along. But just remember, white is right, because the world without white is a dark place indeed. Scissor Dick sits in his favorite bar, sipping the brandy. It's typical Thursday night, nothing to do. Usual ragamuffins and lowlifes populate the place. There's a midget over the night. The Scissor Dick don't like midgets, he never has. He talks to this one, he finds out it's a woman. The woman says to Scissor Dick, not satisfied in my sexual life anymore. And this is a this is a dick says, why not? <laughs> why not? She says, I need someone to treat me like an animal. Scissor dick goes out to his car, takes him ten minutes, comes back with a burlap sack, throws it over her head, grabs her by the ankles and swings her around his head, smacks her against the walls, the floor, the furniture, you name it, throws it back in the dumpster, goes home. <laughs> Can't remember a thing the next day. Thank you.